Blessed love and blessed day, oh boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fight nation. It's Coach Fire and this is Real Life Boxing. And in this video, we're going to be discussing the upcoming fight between Javante Tank Davis and Rolando Roley Romero on May 28th. And the modern day business of boxing and what happens when it goes wrong to me. Hey, but before we get into it, y'all give me y'all best 112 double jab straight down the pipe. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you can be notified when all videos are being uploaded on the channel of Real Life Boxing. It's Coach Fire. Let's get into it. Roly Rolando Romero versus Tank Davis and why this fight is even happening. The business of modern day boxing. So to me, this fight has two sides, two angles to it. The actual fight and then why this fight is even happening. You know what I'm saying? Um, Roley is 14-0 with 12 KOs. Tank Davis is 26-0 with 24 KOs. Um, what, world champion, two, two, two division world champion or three division world champion, um, whatever have you. A little bit further on in his career than Roley. Um, both of these guys are signed to Mayweather Promotions. And why I say the modern day business of boxing is because um, to me, Mayweather Promotions, they, prom they, they, they approach the business of boxing um, different from how the business of boxing was, was, was approached back in the day. Back in the day, um, you know, look at Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard. They fought when they were, what, 21, 22 years old. Um, Muhammad Ali. World champion at 20 years old, beat Sonny Liston. Took one of the biggest fights of his career at a very young age, very early in his career. Um, I am Mike Tyson, youngest heavyweight champion um, of all time. Undisputed at that, very early in his 20s. Ve actually, very early in his career. You know what I mean? Um, back in the day, that's how the business of boxing was approached, and that's how superstars were made, by the best fighting the best. That's why we have so many great fights in the archives that you could even pull up on youtube and watch um nowadays in the new millennium the 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 era of social media now the business of boxing is approached a little bit different um especially with mayweather promotion i'm not gonna say pbc you know what i'm saying i was talking to my cousin last night we was we was having a friendly argument about that shout out to slick nose um I'm not going to say PBC. I, I'll stick to Mayweather Promotions for now. Like Mayweather Promotions is in the business of making superstars, making name fighters. We hear Leonard Ellaby say it all the time. Oh, we're not into seeing who's the best fighter. You know what I'm saying? We're not into that. We're into putting asses in the seat and making superstars. So to me, um, in, this, in, in this particular fight, this is what happens when business hits a stumbling block. You know what I mean? And you run into, you know what I'm saying, something now. Mayweather Promotions is very cerebral in the way that they operate, in the way that they do business. To me, they have these guys' careers mapped out like five to ten years ahead, so long as the fighters win the fights and the fighters stick to the plan. You know what I'm saying? I think that they have these fighters' careers mapped out at least like five years ahead, ten years ahead. We heard, we heard Errol Spence when him and Terrence Crawford, you know, got into it, and Arrow said, I already got my list of, uh, of fighters who I'm fighting. I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And if you look at it, that's exactly what happened, minus him fighting Manny Pacquiao because he got the eye injury. But he was supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? The fight just didn't happen because he got the eye injury. So, in this fight, this this fight, like, it, it's hard for me to, to, to really look at. Obviously, in the fight, most people probably think the tank will knock out Roley. You know what I'm saying? The tank is going to knock out Roley. But anything can happen in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Because Roley is a fighter. Might not be the best skill fighter, but he is a fighter. Um, but back to the business. This fight right here, both of these dudes are Mayweather Mayweather promotion fighters. Both of these dudes spent mad time at um you know at the Mayweather gym. Like, they're very familiar with each other. You know what I mean? And tank is... I mean, in his eyes and in Mayweather promotion eyes, you know what I'm saying? He's a superstar, but he's still not, he's a superstar because that's what, that's the narrative that they're pushing, but he still hasn't really fought any big, big, big fights. You know what I'm saying? He still hasn't fought the Lomachenkos or a Devin Haney or a Ryan Garcia or Tiafimo Lopez or any of those guys who are all in that conversation. When you hear that conversation, you don't even think about Tank. He's like on an island by himself, and that's not particularly good. 
You know what I'm saying? But and then we get Tank vs. Roly. And how in the world did that happen? You know what I'm saying? But in my eyes, it's Mayweather Promotions now, you know, trying to make a name for Roly. And now we hear that Tank is leaving Mayweather Promotions. So then you have, well, how is the fight actually going to go? Obviously, like I said, most people will think that Tank is going to knock out Roly. But like I said, Roly comes to fight. Roly's a dirty fighter. He's going to be fighting. Like, he might not be the best skilled boxer, but he's definitely in there um, fighting. So what's going to happen in the fight? You know what I'm saying? How are they... Do they want the fighters to approach the fight in this fight? They might ask Tank to carry Roly for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Carry him into the deep waters, make it an interesting fight. You know what I mean? Like, you never know, like, what's going on. But I just think that they're trying to make a name for Roly, and that's why Tank is so visibly upset. You know what I'm saying? He's visibly been upset, speaking out, saying he's leaving Mayweather, saying that Floyd is jealous of him. Like, he's being very vocal. And even that might be a business plot from Mayweather Promotions. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, I just never know, like, really how to look at it because you don't know if it's just all business. You know what I'm saying? Little, little, le later on from this, they might be trying to set up a fight with Floyd and Tank Davis. You know what I'm saying? So you don't even... I, I, I don't even know when it comes to Mayweather Promotions. You know what I mean? But, like I said, the business, the way that they approach the business is making names you know what i mean like you seen they had um the pitbull cruz fight tank davis now pitbull cruz is about to be like a i think he's headlining i think he's like a, the the main event against gamboa on on his next card i'm not really sure but i seen the poster today so it looks like he was the he's, he's the main event you know what i mean put him in a fight with tank davis they go the distance you know Pit, 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 pitbull cruz got a got a bigger name for himself now they putting Roly in there against Tank. And Tank, he's on the... He's in the wrong fights. Like, this is not a, a fight that Tank should be in. But because it's business, you know what I'm saying? Now Tank has to get used in a fight for other fighters to be making a name off of. Whether they, whether they win the fight or lose. You know what I'm saying? Whether Roly wins the fight or lose. Because of his personality, they throw Roly in, they go act like a fool. You know what I'm saying? And Roly acts like a straight fool at these press conferences and people like that shit you know what i'm saying and that's the modern day business of boxing you know what i'm saying make yourself a superstar on instagram you know what i'm saying on social media on youtube whether it's showing you, you know how much jewelry you got how much cards you got whether it's showing how fast you can hit the goddamn um thing ball that's coming back to you whether it's how fast you can hit the mitts how how, how flashy you can hit the mitts you know what I'm saying? How fast you can hit the speed back, how fast you can hit the double M back, how nice you can make it look. You know, whatever. Go in there, talking shit, be an Adrian Broner, just doing dumb shit. Just make yourself appealing to the masses. You know what I'm saying? So your name could get up there and people want to pay to see you fight. You know what I mean? Like, that's the modern day. I mean, that's just the, the era of, of social media. And that's the modern day business of boxing. That's the way... That the fighters are approaching it. That's the way that the promoters are, <laughs> are approaching it. You know what I'm saying? It's not even the best fighting the best. It's more like characters fighting characters. Like celebrities fighting celebrities. You know what I'm saying? No names fighting no names. You know what I'm, I mean? Known names fighting no names. Known names. You know what I'm saying? That's the business of boxing. Not necessarily the best <laughs> fighting the best. Not making Javante Davis a superstar by going out there and letting him fight Lomachenko and giving him the opportunity to knock out Lomachenko or putting in, putting him in a fight with with, 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 with with Ryan Garcia. God knows what he'll do to Ryan Garcia. Oh, my God. Um, putting him in a fight with Devin Haney. You know what I mean? Putting him in a fight with the ferocious Cambosis. You know what I mean? Putting him in fights with all these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Where them fights at? Where those fights at? But he's fighting Rolando Roley Romero. You know what I mean? And this is not my fight prediction. I will do a fight prediction. I mean, I don't expect Tank to lose that fight. But it's it's going to be interesting. You know what I mean? Like, that's all that, that's all that I know. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be interesting. The whole shit is already interesting. The way Roley showed up at the goddamn presser. You know what I mean? And Tank is just not feeling it. 
and you and, and like I said, Tank is on the he's supposed to be in the in the in the big fights. You know what I'm saying? With the Lomachenkos in the hand. He's supposed to be in the big fights. But instead he's in this fight with Roley. Like what does this fight do for Tank? You know what I mean? Like Roley only don't even got fifteen fights. You know what I'm saying? Ryder even fighting, and that's why Tank is so heated because he's on the other side now. This is a fight for Roly to shine, for Roly to get his 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 name up there, for Roly to get his personality out there, for people to see Roly because they know people's gonna come to see Tank. You know what I mean? But like I said, to me, this is what happens when business goes wrong. When you approach the business like that, and then you don't have nothing to do for tank you don't have no 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 one for for tank to fight like why is he not fighting these people you know what i'm saying and before he was going with it he was going with it he thought it, he thought everything was sweet but now it seems like he's 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 actually seeing it you know what i mean and like i said i i, I could be talking shit right now because this whole shit could be a, for a plot for goddamn tank and floyd to fight down the line you just never you just never know you know what i'm saying and that's like my honest um that's like my honest, honest opinion on, I'm not going to say PBC, but Mayweather promotions. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know, like, what's going on with these dudes because their whole plot and scheme is just to make money. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's not to have the best fighters fighting the best fighters. It's not to have Tank Davis fighting the Lomachenkos or any outhouse fighters. You know what I'm saying? They just want to have him fighting in-house in fighters, but they don't got nobody for him to fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? They they don't got no big fights for him in house, but they don't want him to fight out of house. You know what I mean? They gotta they they gotta come off of that. You know what I mean? But hey, that's the business of boxing in the modern day era, in this era of social media, in the new millennium. You know what I mean? That's the that's the business of 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 modern day boxing. But I don't want to go on a ramble. You know what I mean? Um, I'll be doing my prediction video, but this is my honest, honest, honest feelings about this video. You don't even know like which way to approach it, when, even when it comes to the fight, because obviously you would think that Tank should knock out. I mean, I mean, me, most people's gonna say that. Me, like I, I like I give both of them a chance because Roley could punch and he's like mad, awkward, and he's rough. Like he's coming in there to fight. You know what I mean? So. Anyway, we'll see what happens. This is not my prediction video. I will be dropping a prediction video. You guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> should Roley be fighting Tank? Who should Tank be fighting? Why is this fight even happening? Who y'all think is going to win? Just tell me about the fight, man. Yeah, y'all just tell me what y'all think about what y'all think about the fight. You know what I'm saying? Business side and the fight-wise. Until then, keep fighting y'all fight. Protect yourself at all times. Man, this coach fight. This is real life boxing. Peace and one love.